Okay, let's continue. Read nine. Okay, Salah, can you read Salah, please, the properties of alpha particles? Salah? Yes. Can you read, please, the properties of alpha particles? Yes, yes. <coughs> Because gamma rays are massless, the emission of gamma rays uh, by themselves cannot result in the formation of a new atom. It's okay. Thanks, Salah. Uh, yeah. Tamer, can you read the properties of alpha particles? Uh, yes, mister. Alpha particles, can you, can you read these properties, please? Okay. What, uh, about, what about it's simple? Uh, it's it's simple. Uh, it's uh, it's e over yeah. four. Uh, Mr. <laughs> it's H okay, Mister. It's right. Yeah, yeah, it's right. It's e it's e two four. It's e as H helium. E yeah, as helium atom. It's e two four. <coughs> or um, or uh, or or this sign. CX. This sign. No, no, no. This sign called alpha, not cx. This sign as direct relation. Do you know uh, the sign of math of math? As uh, as a direct relation or inverse relation, <coughs> the sign of direct relation of alpha particles. Okay, so symbol okay. of alpha, symbol of alpha may be H E two four or what or alpha by this symbol. Alpha. Okay. Okay. What about its okay. mass? What about its mass according to AMU? <coughs> it's a mass uh, four. Four. And its mass by kilogram. Uh, Six point sixty-five uh, times ten uh, power and twenty-seven negative twenty-seven. Okay, and its charge. Uh, positive two. Positive two. Okay, thank Thamer. Hossam. You're welcome. Sir. Welcome, Sam. Hossam, can you read properties yes. of beta particle? Of course. Yes. What about its symbol? Radiation. Gamma radiation. No, 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 I said beta particles. Beta particles. Can you read the properties of beta particles? As yeah, it's yeah, simple. Beta. It's simple is what? Uh, simple uh, E or B. E negative. Yeah, E negative or B. E negative or B. Okay, what about its mass with AMU? Uh, part of mass? Yes. Mass by AMU, its mass equal yeah. what? One over uh, 1840. Okay, what about its mass with kilogram? Uh, 9.11 uh, multiply by 10 uh, uh, minus... Uh, Negative, 15. 31. Okay, what about, what about its charge? Negative 1. Negative 1, okay. Thanks, Hossam, uh, for your participation. Okay. Uh, what about Asmari? Can you read the properties of gamma rays, Asmari? Gamma radiation. Yes, gamma rays. Uh, because gamma rays are massless, the emission of uh, gamma rays. Uh, by themselves cannot result in the formation of a new atom. It's okay. What about it's simple? What about it's simple? What? Simple of gamma rays. This simple. Which one also? This sim simple of gamma rays. Okay, as this simple. Okay. What about its mass? Yes. Mass zero. And its mass in kilogram? Zero. Zero. What about zero? A charge zero is okay. Thanks, Asmari. So this is the uh, the properties of alpha, beta, and gamma rays. Okay. Uh, can you listen? Types please? of radiation. Gamma radiation. Because gamma rays are massless, the emission of gamma rays by themselves cannot result in the formation of a new atom.
it's okay. Let's go after that. This is a reaction as it's uranium. Okay, it's what? It's uranium. What about it's uranium? Okay, thermal. Thermal. Uh, shall you? Shall you not play with camera, please? Types of radiation <coughs> as gamma radiation. So, this is gamma rays or high energy radiation with no mass, okay, and are neutral, okay. They usually accompany alpha and beta radiation. Uh, this example, okay. Gamma rays account for most of the energy lost during radioactivity, okay, as what? Uh, this example. The example <coughs> about uranium. Uranium, 92, its atomic number. 238, its mass number, okay? It's uranium. So, uranium can be decayed, can be decayed into another atom called deuterium. Okay, so uranium can be decayed to another atom called deuterium that has atomic number equals 90 and its mass number equal to 134. So what about the difference between thorium and uranium? Okay, it will produce alpha particles and two gamma rays. Why alpha particles? Because alpha particles as helium atom. Alpha particles as helium atom. And we said before that helium has atomic number HE2 and its mass number will be four. <coughs> so 92. Minus 90 equal to its atomic number. Difference between them in its atomic number. While 238 minus 234, difference between them will be 4. So it must be alpha because difference between atomic mass of uranium and thorium will be 4. And also the difference between atomic number of uranium and thorium will be two. So it must be alpha because simple of alpha was HE24 plus gamma rays. Okay, listen please to this. Types of radiation. Gamma radiation. Gamma rays are high energy radiation with no mass and are neutral. They usually accompany alpha and beta radiation. Gamma rays account for most of the energy lost during radioactive decay. So gamma rays account for most of the energy lost during radioactive decay. Okay, and we said before that gamma rays are high energy radiation with no mass and are neutral. Okay, so after that, types of radiation. Okay, listen please. Types of radiation. Nuclear stability. Atoms that contain too many or too few neutrons are unstable and lose energy through radioactive decay to form a stable nucleus. Few exist in nature, most have already decayed to stable forms. So it's a nuclear stability. What about the nuclear stability? Nuclear stability means the atom, the atoms that are stable, as they are atoms that contain too many or too few neutrons are unstable only and lose energy through radioactive decay to form a stable nucleus. While few exist in nature, most have already decayed to stable forms, okay? So it's the difference between stable element and unstable element. As I said before, at the beginning of this session, in the previous session, that stable element, the R element, that the difference between neutrons, the difference between protons and neutrons will be zero, one, or two as maximum three. Okay, but unstable element, so it will be big difference between number of protons and its neutrons as uranium, its atomic number 92, while its, its mass number will be 238. So the difference between them is very large. 
okay very large so protons 92 while neutrons will be 140 okay and so on so it's called as radioactive element or unstable element that can make decay can make decay okay to produce radiation as alpha beta and gamma to be stable element okay so it's difference between unstable and stable element okay guys after that i think that we finished lesson that is the essential question we started before lesson please before before answering a question on the lesson at magruel site lesson please review essential questions what is the relationship between unstable nuclei and radioactive decay? How are alpha, beta, and gamma radiation characterized in terms of mass and charge? Vocabulary Radioactivity Radiation Nuclear reaction Radioactive decay Alpha radiation Alpha particle Nuclear equation Beta radiation Beta particle Gamma re. Okay, so I think that we finished uh, explaining of this session and we are going to go to Magro Hill, okay, to answer this question about this lesson. It's okay. So, who can answer me first question? Oh, answer me. Okay, Asmari, can you read first question? Answer it, please. Yes. To read, please. Can you read, Asmari? Yes, yes. Okay, Asmari. Uh, in the figure below, why are beta particles uh, deflected more than alpha particles? Yeah, in the, uh, in the figure below, why why are beta particles, okay, beta particles deflected more than alpha particles? Why? <coughs> this is beta, okay, and this is alpha. Uh, Deflection of beta rays is more deflection than yeah. alpha particles. Why? I think C, B, uh, beta particles have more energy than the alpha particles. It's okay. Thanks, uh, thanks, Asmari. Number two, Sam. Yes, mister. Can you answer question number two, please? Of course. What is the name uh, the name for the emission of rays? Uh, rays rays and, particles. Uh, rays particles. Particles by uh, radioactive material. Yeah. What is the name of the emission? Radiation or nuclear reactivity decay Radi or, re or reactive series? A. a radiation. It's okay. Thanks for that. Question number three. Can you answer it, uh, Saleh? Yes, Mr. Three. Yes. Yeah, Mr. Of course. What is the charge of gamma ray? Yeah, what's the charge of gamma rays? Negative one. Mm, think again. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Zero. Yes, yeah, zero. We said before that gamma yeah. rays is massless, it's massless, and good. has and have no and have no radiation. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yes. Thanks. Uh, yeah. Number four. Number four, Thamer. Can you read, please? Uh, what's the primary okay. factor that determine an atom stability? What is the primary? What is the primary factor in determining an atom stability? Uh, okay, two. Okay, to observe, to observe if this atom is this atom is stable or no. Okay, what what is the factor? What's the factors that depend on it? Depend on stability of atom. Okay, the stability of atom depend on depend on what? 
neutrons to protons ratio, protons to electron ratio, neutrons to electron ratio, alpha particle to beta particle ratio. I said after, I said before finishing this session, I said before that how can we differ between stable and unstable element? By what? What is the factor that depend on? Okay, try to think. <clears throat> Where are you go? Amen. So, I don't know what's the problem. It's get to enter me again. It's okay. So, I'm what's really the problem? I think the okay, okay, Thamar, what's the problem? What's the primary factor? Can you answer? Uh, I think, Mr. I think it's letter C, inshallah. C, inshallah. It's okay, but yes, I Mr. don't think that. Okay. Ahmed Bassami, I think that you left, I think that you left this session no, Mr. without, no. no, 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 no. Listen to me, no, listen to me. No, 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 Listen Mr. to me, Mr. you left this no, session, no, no. okay, without I'll taking a permission. No, no, no. Oh, and I no, said, no, Ahmed no. Bassami, Many times and without any answer. It's okay. It's okay. No problem. No problem. But if you if you took a permission, if you took a permission for me, it's no problem for me. It's okay. Answer, please. The last question. What is the charge of an alpha particle? Yes. Uh, I think uh, Or oh, the charge of alpha particles You think what? Uh, a. a Alpha particles It's okay Now we are going to grade our test To know the best answer Or uh, Bad answer Correct and wrong one It's okay First one First one, as Asmari said, it's no. Beta particles have more energy, okay? Beta particles are less massive than alpha particles. Beta particles less massive. So, as it have, uh, as they have less mass, so it will deflect more than larger mass. It's okay. Beta particles, the beta is much less massive and therefore more easily deflected than the more massive alpha particles. Okay, Asmari? Question number two. Okay, as Hussam read, radiation. It's true. Charge of gamma rays, okay, as Saleh said, it's true. Okay, number four. Okay, it's false from Thamer. The primary factor, I said before, the neutrons to protons ratio. Neutrons to proton ratio, okay? And the last one, as Bassami said, was false. Okay, it will be positive two. Charge of alpha particles will be positive two. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think that the session will be ended now. Okay. Uh, thanks, students, for your participation. Okay, and happy Ramadan. Uh, enjoy your time. And uh, good luck. See you soon, inshallah. <coughs> Goodbye.